Hi YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Patrick. Today we're going to talk about why I'm using Linux instead of Mac OS or Windows. So that being said, let's dig right in. So before we talk about why I've chosen Linux, let's talk about the competition, starting with Windows. So first of all, Windows is a privacy nightmare. You can prove this yourself, just go into the diagnostic log viewer that comes with Windows and your settings app, and you can see all the information that Microsoft is collecting about you, and it is a lot. It's practically everything you do on your computer gets sent to Microsoft for them to share with their partners and serve you ads. So yeah, Windows is just a, a privacy nightmare. I can't bring myself to use it for that reason alone. Also, the, the user experience on Windows, specifically the user interface, is a hot mess. Like, no two applications behave the same. Like, every application has its own idea about how the UI should be laid out, what buttons are where and what does what. I mean, for God's sake, even the close, minimize, and maximize buttons are sometimes different between different windows. And something hilarious to me is that sometimes when you're loading an older application, for, for a moment, you'll see it load with the old Aereo-style UI around the title bar. Uh, which is just amazing that that code is still underpinning everything that Windows is doing like a decade later. And also, it's super easy to get lost in the settings menu. So you still have two settings menus. You have settings and control panel. And frankly, it is a hot mess especially because those two settings panels link to each other. So if you want to go into advanced network options, the settings app will spit you out into control panel. And then if you click something in the control panel, it'll spit you back out to the settings app, which is just, just ridiculous. It's such a bad experience. And also, there's ads everywhere. You get ads on the lock screen. You get ads in the start menu. You get ads in the system tray. You get ads in the file browser. You get ads in the weather app. Like, almost every built-in facet of Windows is built to serve you ads. I just can't bring myself to use that. Because, like, I'm paying for Windows. I bought Windows. Why is it, at this point, showing me ads like it's some freemium product? Just ridiculous. Anything that I have to pay for should not have ads in it. Like, I'm already... Just charge me what it costs, right? Just char charge me whatever amount it costs for you to make a profit, and I'm fine with that. But double dipping and getting ad revenue on top of that is just rude. It's just disrespectful. Alright, so let's talk about Mac OS. So I actually turned my M2 Mac Mini into a server. I've got it sitting in my server rack in my living room. And my reason for that is multifaceted. Uh, first of all, macOS is super limited, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, I, I love my iPads, and those are very limited themselves. But it's limited in such a way that it gets in your way constantly. Uh, and also, it's limited in the fact that it can't run a lot of software. Like, if you want to play games on your Mac, you're pretty much SOL. Like, it's... And the games that I like are early to mid-2000s games, because that's what I grew up with. And the fact of the matter is, macOS just can't run those. Windows can, but more importantly, Linux can. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. Also, I just, I just don't like the UX of macOS. It's, it has the same consistency problem as Microsoft, just to a lesser degree. But things like the settings app in macOS, which are clearly just a carbon copy of the iPad settings app. And also, speaking of the settings app in macOS, everything is laid out in the most unintuitive way possible. And it's just really annoying when you're trying to find the setting that you look for. Another thing is that it integrates really well with iPads and iPhones, right? Well, the thing is, those integrations kept turning themselves off. 
And so I found myself just not using them because some bug caused them to get turned off, like unlocking with my Apple Watch. Just not a thing because it turns itself off all the time. So the, the, the bugs are getting really bad on macOS. Also, a frustrating thing that I've always experienced with macOS is that it fills up the disk with something called system data. And there's no way to natively get rid of the system data. Like, it's just always there. And it fills the fucking disk up all the way. And the only way to get rid of it is by using some sketchy third-party utility that clears it all out. And this has been a problem with macOS for decades. And I'm not exaggerating. Like, it's it's been this way as long as I can remember. And it's just annoying for your computer to use up all your disk space for no goddamn reason. Also, uh, if, if you want to uninstall an application, there's like four ways to do it, right? And you never know which one of those ways is going to work. And no matter which method you use to uninstall something, it leaves behind a lot of stuff on the system. And it's this is like basic stuff, like uninstalling software is a basic thing that every operating system should be able to do. <laughs> but on macOS, it's a freaking nightmare. Also, macOS has like half a dozen ways to manage window placement, and they all suck. Like, none of them are good. Like the full screen behavior, where you hit full screen and it goes to its own virtual workspace, is so annoying. If you've ever full screened a YouTube video on macOS, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just, they have all these ways to manage Windows, and not a single one of them is actually useful. It's really, really bad, and say what you will about Windows, but one thing Windows gets right is the window placement options. That's really slick. Alright, and that brings me to Linux. Uh, specifically, Fedora KDE is what I'm running, and the UX is immaculate. And I, I think that, so this follows, boils down to an almost philosophical idea. Because the thing is, macOS and Windows are not built for the good of the person using them. They're built to collect information, they're built to serve you ads, macOS to a lesser extent, but it's still there. But my point is that these other operating systems, they're not built for the sake of the person using them. Linux is different. Linux is built specifically for the person who's using it, which when you approach it with that philosophy, you end up with an experience that is world class. And so the user experience on Fedora KDE is, oh, chef's kiss, beautiful, beautiful. And it also has a really great workflow. So the, the workflow of opening a program, opening a file, manipulating it, closing it. Uh, also administrative tasks like installing software, uninstalling software. All of this stuff is just works. And that's that brings me to another point that I have. Uh, Linux systems are just simple. Like, yes, there's a learning curve, right? You have to learn how to do things the Linux way or the KDE way. Uh, and that's true for any operating system, though. On macOS, you have to learn things the macOS way. On Windows, you have to learn the Windows way. The difference is you just might not be used to Linux's way. But once you wrap your head around that, the, the user experience on Linux is extremely simple. And that simplicity permeates every aspect of the product. And like, everything in Linux just makes logical, simple sense. There's no overcomplication. There's no artificial limitations. It just gives you everything that you might need as a user of the system, and in the best way it possibly can. And also, it's not bloated. So, uh, with with Fedora KDE Linux, I have a 32 gigabyte RAM system that I'm running it on, and it uses like a couple hundred megabytes of RAM on a fresh boot, and I've tried to load up my RAM. I've opened like a dozen programs, a dozen heavy programs, uh, a bunch of heavy files, a couple virtual machines, 
and this thing just does not slow down. I was only using like three quarters of the RAM. It, my point with that is that Linux is just so much more efficient with your RAM. Like, it, it's amazing what you can do on it compared to something bloated and awful like Windows. But anyway, that's why I choose to run Linux as my main desktop operating system, rather than macOS or Windows. If you find this kind of video where I just rant about technology interesting, uh, you should subscribe, because that's a lot of what I do. And if you liked this video, leave a like in the comments down below. And if you, if you really want to see more stuff like this, leave a subscribe in the description. And anyway, my name is Patrick. And thank you all, by the way. I've, my channel's grown so much in the last few months, and I know it's really small, but I'm just, I'm really grateful for all of the support that I've received. Uh, I've received several emails from fans and had some great discussions with some very smart people because of it. And it's, it's just humbling that you want to hear what I have to say. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for giving me a voice. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one.